So after all is said and done, this $10 investment with singles, mini lots, lots, this $10 investment is going to go for a whopping. Hey guys, it's Paul. I know we're talking about the cassette haul again, and there's good reason. I've gotten a lot of messages from people in my Instagram and as well as the comments of the last YouTube video about what exactly was in that haul. What do I expect to make and do I think I'll make a great profit? So I thought I'd take a few minutes, show you guys what was in the haul and what I am going to list everything for. I know these haul videos get kind of boring, so this is going to be a short one. I'm just gonna lay it out on the table and tell you what I am listing everything for. And guys, it looks like we can make a pretty, pretty good profit on our $10 investment. So let's just get into it. Okay, so what I did with this all was, I first broke out everything and looked at the comps for each individual cassette. Now listen, this took a while because there were about 100 cassettes, maybe 150, in that range. Anything that was listed at $9.99 or above in comps is going to be sold individually. The rest is going to be lotted up. So let's first take a look at the individual listings. Okay, so this first section here is all of our singles. The first row, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, and The Testament are all going to be $9.99 cassettes. The comps were ranging from 8 to 11, so I figured I'd just go $9.99 and make it, you know, $10 comps. In the bottom of the screen, you will be seeing the potential total going up throughout this entire video, so you can see as you go along what our haul's up to. Next, we have our $10.99 totals. These are going to be Primus and Ghostbusters the soundtrack from the original movie. Those are gonna be both at $10.99. Next up, we've got Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet, with the Parental Advisory sticker still on it, as well as Howard Stern. The Public Enemy is going for $12.99, while the Howard Stern is gonna be posted at $14.99. Next up, we've got two, yes, two $19.99 totals. These are gonna be Beastie Boys, Check Your Head, that's listed at $19.99 as well as Green Day's Dookie the Blue Tape. That will be listed at $19.99 as well. So you see below, our potential profit is going pretty high already off of just these singles. And these singles, remember, I just paid $10 for the entire lot. Okay, next up, we're gonna start breaking into lots. This group of lots are two to four per band. That's right, per band. I was looking through the comps and I realized some of the bands can do better if I just lot them together instead of a genre specific lot. So let's take a look at those. We've got Two Warrants, Cherry Pie, and Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich. That is going to be listed at $10.99 for the two of them. Next up we've got Britney Fox, a glam metal band I had never heard of before. We've got Boys in Heat and just Britney Fox. That one is going to go for $11.99. Next up, we've got the ever-popular Motley Crue, Girls, 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 and Theater of a Pain. Those are going to go for $12.99 as a lot. The next up's a biggie. We've got four Anthrax cassettes. Sound of White Noise, Among the Living, Attack of the Killer Bees, and Fistful of Metal. We know Anthrax and Metal especially that hard stuff, goes pretty well. This lot of four is going to be posted for $24.99. That's right, we are gonna post that for $24.99. I've seen comps, four to five can sell 25 to 30 bucks. So I don't think I'm off base there. And again, $10 investment, I'm happy with that. Okay, and the last group I am going to show you this is the one where I'm just breaking everything into big lots. Um, got a freestyle dance lot, a urban lot, country lot, 80s pop rock, metal, and the harder metal. Um, so there's multiple lots here that should bring in a decent amount of money. Um, as you see, we've got like Garth Brooks, George Strait, Babyface, Bon Jovi, The Chili Peppers, Wham, Aerosmith, The Police, Let's see, Midnight Oil, 
Stevie B, The Bangles, Europe, Poison, Skid Row, more Europe, Beach Boys. Um, so yeah, we got some pretty good names in there and I do think we are going to do well on some lots. So with those, hold on, let me get my notebook where I got everything written down. Um, for those lots, we are going to do an urban lot of six cassettes for $19.99, a dance lot of six cassettes for $14.99. Um, we've also got 14 metal cassettes. Those are going to be listed at $34.99. 14 rock cassettes that are going to be listed at $39.99. Then I've got a big pop rock 80s 24 cassette lot that is going to be listed for $49.99 guys for some cassettes you break that down though it's only a little more than two dollars a piece so I think people are going to jump on that and I am very open to taking offers so yeah there's a lot of lots to be made and you see the potential has been going up this entire time which is pretty cool to see 300 plus on a ten dollar investment okay guys so you see below the total has taken a jump and that's because i added in a couple of lots that i just didn't tell you about so after all is said and done this ten dollar investment with singles mini lots lots this ten dollar investment is going to go for a whopping 366 dollars that's right 366 dollars potential I'll stress potential. I'll actually say 365 because I rounded up the penny on each from like, you know, 1099 to 11. But yes, 365 potential. And I still do have some cassettes downstairs that just didn't have liners, the original bot, the original uh, tape holder. So I might just throw those together a lot, put them in an auction and see where they go. But guys, for a $10 investment, I'm very happy. I am glad I bought those cassettes. And thank you to you YouTubers that have been talking about cassettes and how profitable they can be if you find the right ones at the right price. Um, I'm interested to see how this goes. I will give you an update at a later date and seeing how these did. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I tried to keep this short. I know these haul videos can be quite boring. Hopefully it was short enough for you. If you're new here, liked what you saw, hit that subscribe, smash the like, Guys, let me know in the comments below how you think I did, if I priced appropriately, and maybe should have priced a little higher. But guys, thank you for watching again. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one.